Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia. In this video, we're gonna talk about highway drive assist because it's a common question we get and it's actually kind of tough to see what it does unless you know how it works. So we're gonna talk about how it works and I'm gonna apologize right up front because I don't have all the visuals. Sometimes you need just the right driving conditions to show you all the visuals. So what I'll do is tell you how it works, tell you what it does and what it's looking for, and then you can try it on your car and tell me what you think of it. This is your Kia class. All right, so highway drive assist. We're gonna start with the technology on the outside of the car. There's a camera right up there behind the mirror. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like right here. And below the license plate on this Telluride, and it could be in a different spot on your car, there is a radar plate, which I'll show you a picture of right here. What highway drive assist is it uses systems that you probably already know about and understand. It uses things like your smart cruise control. Your smart cruise control uses that radar plate to see vehicles in front of you and it keeps you a set distance away from them. So uh, smart cruise control can accelerate and brake on its own. And on the tight ride here, it can even bring you to a complete stop in stop and go traffic. Super helpful to use that kind of cruise control in stop and go traffic. The lane follow and lane keeping assist uses the camera up there. It looks for lane markers in the road and keeps you centered in the lane. It actively steers the car and can keep you centered in the lane. Lane follow assist essentially can work without seeing the line markers perfectly. It can see the vehicle in front of you as well and make a whole bunch of judgments the same way you would to make sure it stays centered in the lane. So those are going to be active when you set the smart cruise control. The ability to keep the distance in front of cars in front of you and the ability to keep you centered in the lane. Highway drive assist is basically that. That's the key. Now it does add one piece of functionality. If you set the cruise control at the speed limit, so exactly at the speed limit, there will be a little auto light that comes on and it will show you that it is actively keeping the speed limit. It uses your navigation system on a highway and it will keep the speed limit. So if you're on that highway and the speed limit's 100 kilometers an hour and you have the cruise control set for 100 kilometers an hour, the vehicle will stay at that speed. And if the speed limit on that highway drops to say 90 kilometers an hour, the vehicle can automatically reduce speed to 90 kilometers an hour. If you set the cruise control to any speed, a kilometer an hour below, a kilometer an hour above the uh, speed limit, it will not do that function. So that's the basics of it. We're gonna show you how to turn it on, where to look for it, and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, we are in the 2021 Kia Telluride SXL or SX Luxury SX Limited. Uh, and these are the controls that we're gonna to have to work with. So cruise control right there, you can set your speed, resume and set, pretty self-explanatory, and there's a cancel button right there. Over here is the button you're gonna to use to set that distance between you and the vehicles in front of you. So closer and farther away, the more lines you um, press, that same icon will show in the dash. And the more lines between you, the more space it will give you and the vehicle above. That will all make sense the first time you try it. When I talk about not having great visuals, that's part of what I mean. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is use this menu button and this up down arrow and the okay button, which is pressing this in. So up and down there and pressing in right there is how it's gonna work. And the menu button's gonna go side to side. So the menu button right here, let's just zoom in for one second. There we go. Menu button, we're gonna go over to, sorry for the lack of clarity, I'm doing my best here to get the, there we go. So we're gonna go down to driver assistance, we're gonna select that. We're gonna go down to driving assist, we're gonna select that. And the checkbox for highway driving assist has to be on. Now to be fair, all of these have to be on as well. Uh, leading vehicle departure, not so much, but lane follow assist and highway drive assist is what you're looking for to make sure those checkboxes are on. Now there are instances where it may not work. Let's cover those right now. So what if you've done everything I tell you to and it's not working? Well, the reality is this isn't available on every road that you're on, but it can be added over time. So when it first came to Canada, it was only available on the Trans-Canada Highway. It's now expanded to other roads. So if, for instance, you've done everything I say and it's not working, it may just not be available on that road. So there's your basics of Highway Drive Assist. If you have it on your car, go ahead and try it. Tell me what you think of it. And if you're looking at a new Kia, it may be something that you want. The reality is that Highway Drive Assist is the very first step in navigation-based cruise control, and we all know where that's headed, to self-driving vehicles. And I will say, when you're driving this vehicle down the highway and it's controlling its speed, just on smart cruise control with the lane follow assist, keeping you centered in the lane, you know, it's accelerating, braking on its own, it's keeping itself centered in the lane by steering, and you still have to keep your hands on the steering wheel, but it does all the work for you. It is a relaxing way 
to go on a long drive. It works very well, but like I said, it's a precursor to self-driving vehicles. All right, that is your Kia class. We try to do these several times a week, uh, a couple times a week anyways, several times a month for sure. Uh, if you have an idea of something you wanna know about a Kia, please let me know in the comments below. We'll do a Kia class for you as well. We also go live from this video bay every weekday at two o'clock and we just announced we're not gonna just start, we're not gonna just talk about Kia vehicles. We're also gonna have access to the full Hyundai line. So you'll see a change in name from our Brantford Kia YouTube channel to a change of name. Uh, but we will still continue to educate you on Kia and Hyundai vehicles. And we're supported by Brantford Kia, Brantford Hyundai, and Owen Sound Hyundai. Thanks, everyone, for watching.